one of the first things we decided to do was create an academy. <clears throat> the academy will begin in 2018, and we have four years of planning now uh, worked out. The academy is a, um, an in-residence program where we gather young professional musicians from around the world, uh, from Asia, from North America, from Europe, and we form an orchestra, the Grafenek Academy Orchestra, which is a professional orchestra uh, that is made up of um, a new generation of players. Uh, not dissimilar in a way to uh, the way Richard Wagner put an orchestra together for Bayreuth. Um, and other festivals have done this. And this orchestra would be in residence. Grafenegg has now built uh, housing facilities. Uh, and they will rehearse together. They're from all over the world with very distinguished conductors and soloists and do programs that are different from what you would conventionally find in a concert program. And that the academy would be dominated by a theme. And that theme would also uh, be surrounded by lectures and panels and discussions about the connection of music to other facets of life. So in uh, 2018, our theme is 1918, 2018. Uh, dislocation and change on the European continent. Um, so 1918 was the end of the First World War, and the breakup of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy, for example, and of the German monarchy, <clears throat> and the Russian Revolution, and uh, a massive change, geopolitical and demographic change, uh, and economic and political change. Now, fast forward to 2018, to the crisis in the European Union, Brexit, uh, the shift to the right uh, in regimes uh, throughout Europe. So we compare the two times and we ask the question in times of economic, social and political change and conflict, what is the role of the artist? What happens to art? What happens to music? Is music just decoration or entertainment? Or is it part of the conduct of life that either mirrors or is um, contributory? to the way people resolve their relationship to their political surroundings. So the artists that are involved include great stars like Thomas Hampson, uh, Nemi Yarvi, Dennis Russell Davies. Uh, and uh, so this is the first year of this academy. And it's open to audiences for a different kind of concert experience to think about music differently and hear work that they're not likely to hear during the regular season. Great music that remains unplayed for no justified reason. The 2019 season will be bigger of the Academy. And starting in 2019, the EUIO and other partners in Grafenegg um, will uh, work uh, to develop a coherence and that season, the 2019 season, will be about the relationship of the visual to the musical. What's the connection between the way we see and the way we hear? How are composers influenced by their architectural and painterly environment? Was there any connection between the painters who lived in Vienna in the 1820s and the music of Schubert and Beethoven? Or the architecture? Uh, is there some way we can look at the histories of these art forms uh, as they cross or do not cross or influence one another? Uh, and so it's an entire uh, summer season uh, devoted to the idea of sight and sound. The point is that uh, Grafenegg um, now wants to take on the ambition of uh, innovating in the development of new audiences uh, through changing the character of concert life uh, by connecting musical life to other forms of life by bringing in uh, uh, audiences that either have shown no interest but have drifted away or are interested in literature and politics in painting but don't go to concerts and also to be in the forefront of training a new generation of professional musicians who really um, understand their mission as being more than repeating uh, athletically perfect uh, performances of repertoire that we already know. Yet another uh, Tosca, yet another Mahler Second Symphony. Um, but actually that um, 
see their professional training as the beginning point to forge uh, a different connection uh, to why music is indispensable uh, to our lives. Last but not least, Grafenegg um, continues work that we've started here at Bard um, in an effort to provide a new generation of musicians with a different kind of training beyond the technical uh, instrumental training uh, that they've received in conservatories. And that is um, a humanistic education that allows them to think about music um, in ways which build bridges uh, to audiences um, of their own generation and older and also new audiences. And EUIO, uh, which has been a terrifically successful effort on the European Union's part is an orchestra of young musicians and it fits perfectly into the long-term mission of Grafenegg and is a very important vehicle uh, in Grafenegg's effort uh, to pioneer the, um, the future health and growth of um, attachment to the musical tradition uh, we identify with classical music.